Hey guys. Hey guys, it's me, Samantha Please, and um, I'm sorry if I look kind of poofy right now. I feel like my hair is poofy, um, but I did manage to keep it straight for two weeks. So I think tonight I'm gonna twist it out, and right now I just kind of have it held back and um, clipped up. See, it's kind of, it's kind of poofy. So yeah, I think um, tonight I'm probably going to twist it up and um, I just have it clipped. So that's why my hair looks like that and yeah. So in this video I am going to talk about African waist beads. Um, waist beads I guess in general and um, the meaning behind them, some cultural background and how they played a role in my life and I guess how I wear them and all that good stuff. I keep feeling like there's a hair on my face that doesn't want to come off. Okay, so a little bit about waist beads. Um, they are from Africa. They originated in Ghana. Um, I am Ghanaian myself and um, I do wear waist beads. I really really like my waist beads um, I have 16 waist beads um, well now I have 15 because one of them broke unfortunately because um, I was being stupid <laughs> yeah I'm going to go ahead and add another one because I don't like the thought of having an odd number of waist beads it's just something about that seems really bad to me so I always make sure that I have an even number of waist beads but um, the season has been changing and I've been seeing like a lot of girls, um, you know, rocking the waist beads and stuff like that. But I don't know. It's just something about it bugs me because there's so many people that don't really understand the cultural background and, you know, just how they're supposed to be worn and what they mean and what they're used for. So I decided to make a video and talk about mine and kind of talk about them in general. So, um... Waist beads, like I said, are a big part of African culture. Um, I don't know. Basically, like at first when waist beads came out, they were used as weight the weight system in Africa because we didn't have proper scales, like ways to weight ourselves and know what we weighed and stuff like that. So, if your waist bead um, kind of rolled up, you knew you were gaining weight, and of course, if it kind of swiveled back down, you knew that you were losing weight, and that was kind of a way to track your weight. Also, um, waist beads also represent a lot of your social class in Africa, like if you have a certain type of jewelry on your waist bead, or a certain number of waist beads, or something like that, it might um, show people what tribe you're from, um, in the case that you are from a tribe or um, just social class in general like um, for instance like if you are the daughter of a king or something like that you might have um, jewelry that represents that so it also has a lot to do with social class and you know things like that so there is a lot of meaning behind waist beads um, they're also considered to be um, like lingerie like the African way of like you know how women go out and they buy like you know nice lingerie you know put on something special for that special somebody in your life well to us like to Africans like our lingerie is our waist beads like that's what our significant other or whoever's in our life will see you know when we are getting ready to you know so that's kind of like our form of wearing lingerie so it's like that too so they're not really meant to be seen um, I was just talking to my mom downstairs about them just kind of getting a refresher before I like come up here and talk about them and um, you can like show a little bit of your waist beads depending on how many you have but you're really not supposed to show them all and if you can you really shouldn't try to show them to anyone like you shouldn't be purposefully trying to advertise them for everybody to see um, they're really meant to be worn under your clothes and they're really only meant to be seen by that special somebody um, I do wear crop tops and 
Um, I do wear cute clothing sometimes where you can see my waist beads. And sometimes when I wear jeans, some of my waist beads, like, they go um, over top of my jeans. Like, they all don't. Like, I try for the most part to get them to sit in my jeans so then, you know, you can't see them when I bend over or turn around or something like that. But sometimes they still manage to, like, unhook and, like, you know, come out and stuff like that. So, yeah. But... Um, they're really not meant, like, they're not meant to be seen by everybody, and, um, they're not really meant to be worn as a, a fashion statement. They're not a fashion statement. Like, they do have different color waist beads. Like, I have a couple of them here. Like, I have this blue one, and then this one is a rainbow one. And then this one is kind of, the detail, you can't really see it, so it probably looks white, but it has like, in the white, it has like lines of like orange and blue all over it. So these are just a couple of different ones. And even though like there's so many of them, like they're really meant for you, like they're meant for you to express yourself. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my waist beads. Um, and I'm going to also show you guys what they've done to my waist. Because I do think that wearing my waist beads has helped me a lot with my weight. Because they definitely do a good job at letting me know when I've gained weight and lost weight. And you guys also get to see the types of waist beads that I do have. So I'm going to get up now. Okay, you guys, so I do have a boyfriend, so I'm not going to, you know, do anything crazy, but I'm going to just show you guys how I place my waist beads and what they look like. Um, let me use something to point. So these are my waist beads. Um, And all of my waist beads I got from Africa, so, I mean, they are real. I, I mean, I didn't get them anywhere I can tell you guys to get them. Um, a lot of them come from my relatives, they send them to me, so. So, as you can see, there is a space between, the space between my belly button and my waist beads is pretty wide. Um, if your waist beads are all the way up here, basically tight around your stomach area, it's going to be... Sorry if this light is in the way. Um, I've seen people wear them like up here, basically squeezing their stomach and that is not the right way, way to wear them. Um, because if you wear them that way, it's only going to be easier for them to snap. Why? Because, you know, you're consistently breathing, so you don't want to be pushing the waist beads, you know, you kind of want them to sit. And if you're trying to lose weight on your stomach area, if you lose weight on your hips and, you know, your waist area, it is, you're going to lose stomach weight, you know, they're uh, connected to each other. So don't think that if you place your waist beads all the way up here, you know, it's going to be any better. Plus, that's uncomfortable. Like, when your waist beads, like, if my waist bead... Is really really tight and it rolls up here it's so uncomfortable to sit on and move around like you kind of want your waist beads to be resting on your waist uh, mines are really super resting like but I'm gonna show you guys my waist with and without my waist beads Now I'm going to drag my waist beads up so you guys can see more of what my waist is or what my waist has formed into without my waist beads. And um, if I have to tighten any of my waist beads due to the fact that I've lost weight or maybe they just got a little bit loose because that happens over time as well um, because you know I don't take them off or anything like that they are permanent 
jewelry. They stay on my skin. If I wash up, I simply just lift up the whole entire thing, wash underneath, do what I need to do. Um, when they get wet after I take a shower, I just take the towel and I kind of squeeze it on them for just a few seconds to kind of get all the water out. But um, they're definitely not something that you can take off and put on every day. Um, they're they're just they just sit there. You know what I'm saying and. They're fine. Um, I clearly don't have any lines or anything. I don't have any dark marks or anything like that. So um, they're fine. But if I need to tighten them again, I know that I need to tighten them when, and I'm not going to show you guys my butt crack or anything like that, but when they get a little bit down here, like, you know, a little bit low. Like my lowest waist speed is probably like here so if they get down to like about here which is starting to get closer to like you know draping over my butt a little bit I just tighten them right back on up and how I do that is I cut them take off some of the beads and retie them so that's how I do that Did my hair get poofier in like the course of 10 minutes? I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, you guys, that's how I wear my waist beads. And um, yeah, and I know like in like Indian culture and like, you know, other cultures, they, were, they wear waist beads too. I'm not just saying like they're limited to just, you know, African people and African culture. I'm not going to speak too much about another person's culture because, you know, I don't really know too much about other people's culture the way I would know about my own culture. But, you know, a lot of people ask me about my waist beads if I wear clothing, like, you know, because the season's changing up. It's getting hot outside and you know I'm bringing out the cute clothes and sometimes I might pop out or something like that and you know people will ask me you know where did you get them from and all this stuff like they want to know more about them and they're just really really interested so um, it kind of inspired me to do this video and also like I said you know just seeing how other people wear them and stuff like that yeah also inspired me to do this video and like I said before, um, all my waist beads are from Africa. Um, I don't have a website or like a place to tell you guys to like go and get them. I mean, I'm sure there are places on the website you can get waist beads. I mean, there's ways you can get them, you know, but um, those are just where mine are from. So yeah. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs>